What up, what up? It's your boy, Paul P. I serve God. I'm not God. This is just my opinion. And welcome to another episode of Just Kicking It, man. Hey, this is going to be a great one. We got a special guest. But you know, we got the boy Swagger Deli in the building. What's good, bro? What's good, bro? Man, you good, brother? Man, I'm chilling, man. How you doing, bro? Man, How you doing, good, bro? bro? How you good. doing? And you know, we also got a special guest today, man. Today, we got the one and only from the Stink Team, K. Seven, what up, Brody? Ganging him, ganging him, man. You know I'm in here, man. Come to support, man. Man, this is excited, man. This is excited, man. How, how everything? How everything? Everything going, man? Shit, everything cool, man. My birthday just passed on the 28th. Nigga had a little okay. party. Okay, happy birthday. Turned up a little you bit, know? you know. Yeah. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's dope. So for the people who may not know, uh, K Seven, of course they know you. Do music and everything like that, but give people a little background about you know what you do, your 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 position on the stick team and everything like that. Well, shit, basically, man, what I do is just like you know what I'm saying. I just do me like I was just you know born in South Central, you know, grew up in the '30s. Shout out to South Central, you know, you know, you know just saying? just running the streets, man, like anybody else, man, going to school too. But yeah. you know, nigga, nigga did all right in school, but yeah, yeah. really just ripping and running the streets, man. Yeah, yeah. Over there, uh, like, South Central, how far was you, like, away from... See, I grew up in Watts. You know, I grew up, like, by... We used to be Will Rogers Park. You know what I'm saying? Over yeah. there. You know you know, you know that area? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, how far was you from over there in that area? Not too far, huh? Being in like South Central. 15, like, 15, 12 minutes or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. Dang. Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. From the city. That's what's up. So, um, you know, when it comes down to it, what, what type of projects and stuff are you working on? What, what do you got that you are working on putting out? And, and what are some of the projects that you already put out? Well, I just dropped a tape six days ago called Feeling Different. Mm. Eleven track. Man, that shit go crazy. Like, this is one of my hardest tapes to me and to yeah. everybody else that's telling me, like, you know what I'm saying, keep making music. But, you know, that's what I got coming out. And uh, I'm working on some other shit, too, maybe like a couple of singles. I ain't going to say a tape, but got a couple of singles coming out soon, but maybe like three weeks or so because I just dropped my tape. So I want to, you know, yeah, yeah, let my yeah. tape catch the wave right now and shit. Dope, dope. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. You know, uh, how long you been a part of this thing, team? And I'm one of the founding fathers, like. Wow. From wow. two greedy Day days, then, then it morphed, you know what I'm saying? Day one. That's Day one. Dope. That's dope, man. You know, you know, here on this podcast, and a lot of people who watch this podcast is real big fans of the, of the Stink Team. I saw that when Ralphie came on. I'm like, okay, yeah. you know, uh, you guys have a big fan base, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and everybody got... A lot of love for Draco. You know what I'm saying? That's people good. for no Keep reason. The truth alive, people man. for no reason sometimes just write in the chat. You know what you just said? Keep the truth alive, right? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So give give the people, man, out there who got a lot of love for Draco, like a, a story, you know, you coming up with Draco and everything like that, you know, something that the people can hear. I'm gonna tell a story that I always tell and it's just funny to me because you know, it's just just go back since we was in elementary. Yeah. When I this when I first met Draco, we was at Cimarron. And I had a Game Boy Color. And he tried, he came with Ralphie. Ralphie was young as a motherfucker. Him and Ralphie walked up to me like, hey, uh, like, give me your Game Boy. And I was like, what? I'm like, I'm like, nah, like, you ain't getting this. Like, it's me. And then niggas just went our separate ways. And then, like, going to middle school, nigga remember all that. Nigga remember him from elementary off that. I just, yeah. you know, been fucking with him since then. Like, cuz yeah. solid nigga, like, at the end of the day. So I'm like. Cause like a born leader type shit, like yeah, in a way, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I'm, no. I'm fucking with Cuz, like, yeah, yeah, Cuz so, straight, yeah, yeah, that's dope, that's dope. So y'all just eventually like became cool, just started kicking it, just started know, kicking like and shit. Oh god, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why do it, it always start like that? Like a lot of my closest homies growing up, you know, we fought first. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. like some type of like issue or something, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we ended up being cool. It's almost like a respect thing when you coming from where we come from, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. 
You know, when it comes down to the Sting team now, you know, uh, you know, if you want to elaborate on it a little bit and everything like that, you know, people are, you know, try to keep up with what's going on and everything. And uh, uh, we know recently we just heard, you know, uh, uh, Rafi just speak on it a little bit, you know, not too much, but um, it's a small issue or something going on with OTM or something. Or, where, you know, where, where do y'all stand when it comes down to like Sting team, OTM and everything like that? Because, you know, when it comes down to it, man, y'all did great. A lot of great music, you know, yeah. song after song, you know, y'all put out a lot of music. Yeah, sure. So, you know, the people may want to know, like, is is that cool? Is it an issue or, or what's... It's no what beef. Saying? It's just a discrepancy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, ain't no beef. Yeah, yeah. It's just like some regular rap shit, you know, that always goes on. I'm pretty yeah. sure that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Over percentage wise, but, you know, they not from Stink Team no more. They doing their own OTM yeah. wave, you feel what I'm saying? Okay, okay. But yeah. then, like, ain't, ain't nobody beefing. It's just, like, that's just what it is, and that's that. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, and that happens. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When it comes down to it, we're men. You know, uh, you know, men have issues and everything like that. You know, men, we got ego. We got pride and all of that. But if it don't work, it don't work. You know what I'm saying? Go your way. We go our way and keep it pushing, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. So, I mean, look, you know, just to be real, the people know what's up. You know, since I started this podcast, we didn't had, you know, outside issues with people who were, you know, working up in here and everything. It just didn't work. You know, right, at the end yeah. of the day, it's all love. You know, yeah, it, exactly. it, it ain't no beef yeah. or anything like that. But if it don't ain't work, no it don't work. That's it. You know? So, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, swag, right? You, yeah. know, how, how, you know, how many it people don't work, we it did? don't work. Right, right. Go play for the Clippers. You know? Bro, <laughs> 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 talk, bro, talk. Nah, that's, no, that's the truth. Right. You know, Russell yeah. Westbrook, like Russell West. Russell he went West. crazy that night. <laughs> 36 <laughs> points. Oh, yeah. He was killing it the other night, though. Yeah, he's 36. Okay, I see you. Yeah, 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 nah, nah. Russ definitely was killing it though. But uh, but yeah, man. At the end of the day, man, it's all good. But um, you know, we 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 happy to have you here. Hell yeah, it's all, love. You know? it's all love. Yeah, yeah. Real talk, real talk. So you know, here on the um, you know, another sub podcast when we do just kicking it, we jump into topics and everything. You cool with jumping into yeah, some? Yeah, we can you know what I'm saying? Topics. Media topics and everything. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So so the first um topic I want to get into. You know, we kind of talked about it last week a little bit, swag. But uh -huh. you know uh. You know, we, you know, 6 9 getting oh, jumped yeah, at the gym yeah. and everything. But since then, you know, it came out that 6 9 kind of like got with whack. And, you know, they uh, throwing a lawsuit out there on the dudes who jumped 6 9 And those dudes right now are in jail. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So, what are y'all thoughts on, like, you know, I've, them starting a lawsuit? They should have seen that coming. <laughs> you know like, I saying? swear to God, I caught that already. Like, yeah. they're like, don't, don't, don't y'all know he going to tell on y'all after yeah, that? For real. Yeah. I said that from the. I thought about as soon as I seen the video, I'm like, that's. They don't, they don't even know. Yeah, but, yeah. But hey, yeah. But but what? That's but, what he do. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? He shouldn't be shocked. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's not even shocking to me. Like no more. Like, <laughs> he went right to the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not that. shocking. <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> <laughs> was it a shock Shit. to like see uh uh wha allegedly Wack get involved though? Was that kind of like a shock to you? Wack gonna be whack, man. Wack is whack, huh? Wack is gonna be whack, man. Yeah, yeah. Real talk, real talk. Nah, that's true. That's true. What about you, Swag? What's your thoughts on that Bro, situation? You know, you know how six nine is. He this this shit might be some stunt devil shit. You know what I'm saying? He might be like fuck it, let me get beat up. You know, you don't know what's going on, bro, with him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm off of six now. We just need to go ahead and just cancel him. Yeah. Cancel him, bro. Not even real talk. Him. Real talk. Real well, talk. Bro, he, he not making no music. Nah. He ain't making no music, bro. Not at all. Let's hear something. Something yeah. new. Yeah. I mean, when it come down to it, man, I you know he's an idiot just, though. Just, yeah, just like just <laughs> he like what you said. Yeah. Why, nigga, you got all that money, nigga. I thought you should have home gym or something. What are you uh, doing in some public yeah. shit? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, LA Fitness. Man, yeah, man, yeah. Like, <laughs> on the, no you know, security on the, tread, on, on the treadmill. He thought you know? he was bold. Like, we see yeah. what happens. You went bold then, huh? Yeah, real talk, real talk. I mean, you know, when it come down to six nine and everything like that, man, I. I don't think nobody should be shocked like he, what you said. You shouldn't be shocked that he's doing a lawsuit. Yeah, you know I've seen what I'm that saying? coming. You I shouldn't swear be shocked that, that he was going to snitch. I believe that the dudes, allegedly it was the Latin Kings, and I believe that when it come down to it, they knew that it was going to be something that come from it, but I don't think they gave a shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they yeah. gave two shits. They it was, was like, we going to whoop nigga. this nigga out. Yeah, it was on site. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was on site. <laughs> on we not site. tripping. It is what it is. They, I believe they already kind of knew that. You know what I'm saying? But after that situation happened and they got locked up, 
you know, they said right now, Boosie, he put out a GoFundMe to get them built out of jail. <laughs> nah. Boosie a real one, though. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know? Yeah, yeah. What, what are your thoughts on Boosie? You know what I'm saying? Doing a uh, GoFundMe to get him up out of jail. Man. That's some street <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, that's that. Yeah, we're going to get these niggas out. Fuck what you got going on over there. You tell these niggas, nah, we better them out, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk, bro. If talk. I had chip like that, I'd probably do that. You feel me? Yeah, real talk. I mean, why not? You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, it was something that everybody was what we knew was going to happen. Yeah, exactly. You know, we knew it was going to happen, so it just finally happened. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what are you going to say, Swat? I'm just saying, shit, bail them out. Fuck it, why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bail them out. Yeah, real talk, real talk. They did what they had. You know what I'm saying? Street code. They stuck to the street code, did what they supposed to do. Bail them out, man. Yeah, yeah. Bail them out for real, for real. I mean, they handled their business. Look. Exactly. At the end of the day, man, you know, if you offend it, you know, when it comes down to this situation with 6ix9ine, everybody has something to say, right? Everybody. You know, especially when it comes down to gang culture and everything like that. So it's like, hey, if you feel offended, which, hey, you should feel offended. You know what I'm saying? If you respect the code and everything like that, you know, if, if you know, you're a part of that. And they felt offended and they did something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, when it comes down to it, yeah, everybody should be putting their money, money together, belling the dudes out. Yeah. They handled their business, yeah. you know, yeah. at the end of the day. So, exactly. I mean, it is what it is, man. You know, it was coming, you know, so. So anything else on this situation uh, with 6 9 you know? So. Mm, he's just yeah, goofy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real. <laughs> <laughs> real talk, real talk. So we just also had another, um, you know, big situation happen. Something that had been going on for the last, like, three, four years. But we had a uh, tax stone. He was found guilty um, of manslaughter, you know, for the 2016 Irvin Plaza, you know, shooting that, um, you know, uh, you know, t- was a pretty, pretty big situation and everything like that. You know, Troy Ad was involved you know, allegedly involved in everything like that. So I'm going to just read a little bit of uh, what's, what happened with this situation and then we'll just elaborate on it. So Taxstone has uh, been found guilty of manslaughter in 2016 for the 2016 shooting death of Troy as bodyguard uh, uh, Ronald Banga um, McFadder at Irvin Plaza. On Thursday, March 23rd, a jury conviction, convicted the popular podcaster of first-degree manslaughter, two counts of assault, in the first degree, one count of assault in the second degree, and two counts of criminal possession of a weapon in the second degree. So, um, you know, do you do you know about this? Like, did you hear like kind of about who, the situation? Who he killed? Uh, well, uh, Banger. You know, that was um, you know, one of Troy Ave's boy. You know, he in you know industry a lot of people know him and stuff like that. But he ended up getting killed, yeah. and Troy um, Taxstone is basically convicted. Uh, doing it, you know, uh, doing the, it and everything. Yeah, shit, yeah, basically. Allegedly. And you know, this been going on for a while. Troy Ave and Tax Stone had beef before this situation, you know, and, um, you know, Troy Ave just did his little diss song after, uh, you know, Tax Stone got convicted and everything. So, yeah. you know, just it, your thoughts on anything dealing with this situation, you know, with Tax Stone and Troy Ave and, Man, you know, that's some crazy it, shit. Like, yeah. I feel this pain right now. Like, you got to go do, you know, sit down, but. What was the beef about? Like, you know what I'm saying? That was their own personal beef or like, what was it? What was the whole shit? About? I mean, yeah, from from what, you know, you know, we here in the streets and what we hearing and everything like that. You, you know, said he was a what, producer or something like that? Yeah, Tax Stone was a, a podcaster. You a know, podcaster. He, he had a okay. bit. He was like, you know, right there with Vlad. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, On that yeah, level yeah, of yeah, doing yeah. it, you know, interviewing people and everything. And uh, they kind of had like an issue, you know, a back and forth issue before that situation happened. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, they... Met each other in the club that night. You know what I'm saying? Tax Stone allegedly had something on him, and then it popped off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's how the situation kind of happened a little bit, you know. But you know how it look. Yeah. You know how it how it is, man. How mm-hmm. you know, like like you know, niggas bring up issues, you know, online and everything, and you know, you never know what's gonna happen. But you know, if you meet anything goes with yeah. with, with, with with with. Come on, men. You meet yeah. anything goes. You get what I'm saying? For sure. So that's just like with King Von and, and Quando. You know, yeah. like, did they expect to see each other that night? Nah, they yeah. didn't. Yeah. But they met and we saw what happened with that situation. You yeah. know, this is kind of like similar a similar situation. Similar situation to that, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh when it when it when it come down to that situation, let's just go into this direction. When it come down to situations like this, is this something that you've seen before or something that you understand because of you know, being connected to a, a world like that growing yeah. up and everything. Yeah, I understand a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never expect when you're going to see your op. Sometimes yeah. be at a random place, you be like, some people freeze up and be scared. Like, ooh. Like, like, it's like that pressure. Like, yeah, I yeah. got to do something. Yeah. You know? 
yeah, type yeah. shit, but it's, you know, because you don't want to bitch out or nothing. So yeah, it's just the street code, like you know what I'm saying. Some people got heart, some people would have, you know, ain't no telling what they would have did type shit. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. What's your thoughts on this swag? Shit, he did what he did. You know what I'm saying? Gotta sit down and then, you know. I felt his pain on that. You feel though. me? Like, that's the, that's the decision that he made. You feel me? Like, so you feel me? Shit. He could have yeah. just been like, fuck it, bro. Let me go smoke this trees and whatever was going on. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just fuck it, bro. Sometimes it's not even worth none of that. Just, just go sit down somewhere, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got bread. You go get your Airbnb and go duck yeah. off and get your mind clear, bro. Yeah, yeah. Who, who want to go sit down like that? Yeah, I mean, real talk, man. You know, a lot of times, man, we got to let that ego go, man. It's Sometime like a big situation. Like, yeah. if it's a crowd, you, you got to let it go. You like, got to let it go. You I'll know catch what I'm you saying? on the rebounds or something. That's you what know I, what I'm saying? Like, man. a crowd, I'm like, nah. Yeah, I'm yeah. A, a crowd, I ain't doing it for no crowd. You going to jail ASAP. And, and, and yeah. that's probably what made it worse because they didn't <laughs> convict him of first degree or second degree murder. So they know it wasn't intentional. They know that. But I think what really killed this situation, it was in New York. And like you say, it was in the club, so it's a yeah. crowd of people yeah. up in there. You know what I'm saying? You know, New York gun laws are the worst. Exactly. You know, well, New York and L.A. We already Us know about too, L.A. Yeah. gun laws. Like I said, man, all the men in my family have been to jail just off of uh, uh, gun charges and stuff like that. So L.A. the gun, you know, laws are are terrible as well. But New York, you know, they they gonna slap it on yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? You gonna get some time. Right yeah, now. yeah. And and somebody got you know merch. So I mean, you know, hey, you know. The, the only thing about, like, I understand this whole situation when it comes down to, hey, if you did it, bro, you shouldn't have did it, but, hey, that, that's you're going to have to go sit down for something that you did, whether it was intentional or not. I didn't understand, like, Troy Ave doing a diss song, though. And I, and I, like, I always like Troy Ave. Yeah. I like Troy Ave music and everything yeah. like that. But so I, I was like, bro, like, the diss song, though, like, I mean, you know. I was you know, pushing you, it, you feel like? Because, you know, he, he took the stand and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Hey, you know, like I always say, I'm not in the streets, so people who are in the streets, you know what I'm saying, and, and everything like that may have something to say about Troy I've taken a stand. It is what it is. You did that, but then the wrong thing. go and yo, your boy got killed. But so mm. go do a diss song after taking a stone. I mean, I mean, after taking a stand, you go do a diss song. <laughs> I, I didn't understand that, bro. I, a yeah, I, 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 I didn't I didn't get it. I'm yeah, like, bro, you that's took the stand. That shit corny. That shit. I took the stand and take It's, it's like song. if you did the diss you song and you didn't already, take, take the stand. stand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would have went and said If you did a diss song and not the stand, you know bro, what I'm saying? Come on, bro. I would have disappeared for a minute. You, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm gonna take the stand, I'm gonna go and you know, I'm gonna disappear for a minute, whatever. And not just that, see. It's I look at it like this too. It's also differences. You know, if taking the stand like I understood like cowboy reason for taking a stand right when he when he's me personally i do you know he wanted to make sure nipsey name was clear and like letting people know look he didn't call dude a snitch i just I, I, I don't know what happened i don't know who shot who troy ave went on the stand basically and told everything Damn. this is what happened when we walked in this is what happened this happened he had the gun in his head and this person was over there he basically allegedly told everything so you do that and they go do a diss song bro like, bro, I was, I don't care if I was sitting right here next to Troy. I say, bro, how you going to take the stand and then do a diss song, bro? Like, like what well, you, I had nothing to say. I'm like, bro, you, you know? just goofy. <laughs> bro, that's all. I, ain't I don't understand that, that you know? Hey, and it was, you would think that it was going up. You know, I kind of watched the numbers on it. And people ain't supporting it. Yeah. They not supporting the diss song. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only thing I tell Troy because Troy Ave is big on, like, everybody hating on me and stuff like that. I'd be like. Troy Ave, like it's, it's certain moves, thing. it's certain moves, bro. Like that ain't a that ain't a, a smart good move yeah. right there, you know. Like you know whatever. I, y y your boy already got you know taken out of your life and, and everything like that. You know, you took the stand. The dude got sixteen years to you know whatever. I mean, what? Go sit down, chill out, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, that's you know that's all I gotta say about that. Anything else about this situation? Yeah, I'm off, bro. Yeah, yeah, he just did the wrong thing. Like, come on, man, man. that man. made you a goofy category, man. Man, six nine, Troy having six nine. You know what's so crazy though? Before Troy Ave, I believe knew he was going to take the stand because I remember a while back on Breakfast Club they asked Troy Ave about the six nine situation, and he was basically saying it like he had to do what he had to do. See, that's the <laughs> that's the way he was kind of like answering the question. Because, you know, usually yeah, people go up there and say, right oh, there. he a goofy for yeah. doing what he did and everything like that. Troy, I have to say that. 
You know what I'm saying? He'll just keep saying stuff like the streets is a myth and 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 you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to protect. He was saying stuff he like that. He said the streets is a myth. The streets is a myth. <laughs> What? The streets is a myth. <laughs> that's what Troy Allen uh, say. The streets is a myth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, funny, he he knew what he was about to do. Yeah, he knew it. Yeah, and yeah. they were like, man, I'm about to set this up clean. Yeah, the streets is I'm about to myth. make sure Hell when nah. I take this stand, they already know I'm going in that direction. You know what I'm saying? So he's, yeah. he he kind of put the play together and everything, you know. But but yeah, it is what it is, man. But uh, anything to say, you know what I'm saying? On this, uh, you know, situation, man, with uh, Troy, yeah, yeah tax stuff. Yeah. Hey, but what I will say, man, because I know it, it wasn't, knowing the story wasn't intentional and everything like that. Rest in peace to Banger, but, you know, free tax stone, man, because it don't sound like he went in there to do anything. You know, yeah, he shouldn't have that peace on him. Yeah. He shouldn't have that peace on him. But, you know, when people bring a negative energy to you, yeah. from what it said, I mean, I can't tell somebody how to react. Yeah, you coming at yeah. me throwing hands, you know, I can't tell nobody how to react. I always say, you know what I'm saying, just a quick story. About eight, nine years ago, you know what I'm saying, I was out with the with, with, with the fam and everything, you know, after a show, and we was like at McDonald's. You know that McDonald's on Hollywood? You know what and I'm what? saying? Uh, on Ho Hollywood and Vine. The inside one? Yeah, the inside yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, we was at the McDonald's, and one of my cousins was outside smoking a cigarette, and, you know, some cats, I'm not going to say, I'm not going into that, but some cats, you know, started banging on them. It was about seven, eight of them. And I had a hot head at this time. Yeah. So my cousin came in like, yeah, some cats trying to bang on me, whatever. So me and the crew, we run outside. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Well, we go looking popping, for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. big old fight broke out and everything. And um, I ended up getting, you know, stabbed. You know, they pulled out, you know, oh, weapon. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Thank God it wasn't a gun. Yeah. But I got stabbed a couple of times in the stomach and everything like that. You know, and, uh, and w the way I looked at that situation after that was that, you know what? I, I I ran out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, of course, you know, like, you know, we were supposed to be shooting the hands, but I can't tell anybody how to react. <laughs> this, is a, this is a street fight. Hey, yeah. hey you know, a, hey. It's a street the, fight. Hey, my bro. Hey, poked, my, bit. Hey, the bro all would, types of shit. The bro wouldn't even tell you. I said, I respect the little nigga who stabbed me. <laughs> this is a street I'm fight. I'm being real. I respect the little nigga who stabbed me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, what can I say? How, how, many, how, many, how many guys, how many, how many people you had with it you? Was, it was about six of us. Yeah. It was about street seven, fight. eight of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, they, they did what they had to do. They did what they had to yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you can't tell nobody how to react, man. You know? Yeah, so, you bro. know, that's why I just tell that story. You don't story, know what the next person on. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you never don't. know what that next man on. He like, man, I might want to shoot you. Fight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, it's worse now. Exactly. Yeah, These ain't out here like fighting. Fighting is over with now, that's, in the streets. That's long gone, man. You that's think you fighting gone. me, you crazy. Yeah, it's, it's it's long gone. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, people gonna protect themselves to their highest ability, and it's like that too. Cause you don't know what that person nowadays. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what that person got nowadays. So it's like I usually would shoot the hands, but I'm making sure I'm good too. So if you run up on me, who Hell knows yeah. what I'm gonna do? Exactly. You know what it's I'm saying? Either way, or y'all both can have one or just hit or miss. Or whoever. Take it back to the Western days where you got to turn your back and walk away and. You remember they used to do that back yeah, in the, yeah, the West? Yeah, turn around, and, around and draw. But nowadays, yeah, they're no. going to take yeah. a couple of steps and turn around while your ass still walking the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking this thing out now. <laughs> you already know, bro. Wow. Straight up, bro. Straight up. So niggas ain't following that's no funny. rules nowadays. Yeah. That's when they was following rules, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's back in the, you know. Dudes ain't yeah. following rules no the more. The rules don't exist no more. <laughs> no the rules, rules don't bro. Exist no more. Straight up. Real talk, real talk. But yeah, man. Uh, uh, moving on and everything like that, though. So uh, I I'm, I'm gonna jump into a, a little bit of a different direction. But um, Bad Bunny, his ex is suing him for forty million dollars over lyric worthy phone voice memo. All right, so I'm jumping. Wow. Hey, you know, you you do your music thing too. So I, you know, we let's, let's let's let me read this a little bit and you tell me your thoughts. So rapper Bad Bunny is being sued by his ex girlfriend for forty million for sampling her voice without permission. Bad Bunny's ex, uh, Carly De La Cruz Hernandez, accused him of using a recording she made on his phone in 2015 in two of his songs, one from 2017 and another from 2022. She filed the lawsuit last month in a rapper's home country of Puerto Rico. The recorded phrase, Bad Bunny Baby, is sampled in Pat T and Dos Mil 16, both of which have over 200 million streams on Spotify. Um, court documents claim that Bad Bunny, whose real name is Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, violated Puerto Rico's law of the right to own image by using her 
distinguishable uh distinguishable voice without Dela Cruz's permission. So uh we're gonna go to, straight to you, bro. Uh, so what are your thoughts on this whole situation? He, likes, uh, he stole a sauce, like <laughs> <laughs> he finessed, like I see a hit with this motherfucker, I'm you know, I'm this mine's right. I'm gonna record this. Like, Man. But you gotta know the consequences to that shit too. Like if it blow, of course the other person that you know that you took it from or something gonna get mad. Or who really even knows? Maybe she gave it to him, and they on some, you know, on some secret society type crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Who really knows? But at the end of the day, like you, he finessed. Yeah, man, he definitely he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and trying to get that coming. check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's she like, back. nah. If he would have just paid her off or something, he would have been. I would have paid you off. Like, all right, here. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would have thought. I would have thought that maybe they would have did something under the table. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, maybe it will get to that though. But um, uh, what what about you? What are your thoughts on that, Swag? Shit, shit, he had, he just didn't like you. Like Tommy said, he he finessed. <laughs> at the same time, you didn't have, you didn't have your motherfucking business together. You, you know, you put out your contracts and your split sheets and all that. Yeah, when it comes yeah. to shit like you know, what I'm yeah. saying shit like that, you got protect yourself. Yeah, real sure. talk, real talk. You know what I mean? You know how the game is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Real talk, real talk. I mean, we are, we already know what it is, is man. You know what I'm saying? When uh, when a when a Breakup happened when she your ex now. All bets are off. Oh yeah, these women ain't playing no games, bro. Yeah, yeah. They don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like all bets are off. Yeah, she, you know, yeah, that's when they get mad. Yeah, like, oh, I'm gonna get my revenge on you. Yeah, ass. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they probably been knew this. Like he probably was been, you know, using her, you know, that little caption phrase or whatever on songs and everything like that. And it probably was cool because they yeah. were together. Yeah. But knowing that they not together and he he up. Oh, that's you why know I said some little to get backdoor a secret society yeah. crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it could be that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Man, and she trying to get a big bag, 40 mil. Yeah. She's yep. not playing. 40 mil. You yeah. know? The lawyer like, nah, we going for the bag. Exactly. <laughs> like, I, we need that chip. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, you have a situation like this and you find out it's, it's brewing and you dealing with a woman, man, I, I, I would tell any dude this. Let your ego go. Let the pride go, bro. Go try to fix that. Because a woman scoring, we know that go to a whole nother place. It man. go to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Us Super. man, we be trying to be cool and chill and all of that. Mm-hmm. They not trying to be cool and no. chill. They gonna try to tear your ass down. Hey, and it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just telling men, understand the situation like mm-hmm. that when it's being presented in your face. These women ain't playing no games. How your ass? How your ass at the park? Man, <laughs> you like damn at the park? Man. This bitch got me at the park. I was in this big ass house. Now I'm at the park. Man, real talk, real <laughs> like, talk. Nigga, what? You know, and how much money Bad Bunny is? Bad Bunny, the business is network probably like uh, probably about eighty to a hundred right now. I would have tried to hey, if he would have negotiated in the beginning, I give you five mil. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. She, she wasn't. She ain't. I'm sure she ain't no millionaire. So if you would have tried to slide, I, I got you five mil. You cool with I that? I feel like that's too much. I'll give you <laughs> eight hundred thousand, baby. <laughs> She's trying to sue for forty. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. but yeah, basically work something out. You know, yeah. it, you know all this all this money. She gonna take something. Hell you know, yeah. yeah. The court gonna eat all the money up. Like uh-huh, doing uh-huh. going through all that process. You know, yeah. lawyer fees and all that shit, man. Yeah. I mean, too, because the it's longer no- y'all do it, the more money y'all waste. Like mm. just yeah. get to a settlement right now. Like you feel yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, too, because it's no, it's, it's no clear, like, you know, direction on what she would get if she went to court. So that's why yeah. I think if they would have tried to take care of before court, she would have took something. Oh, yeah, I just yeah, think that Bad yeah, Bunny yeah. is probably ignoring her. He's probably like, I ain't dealing with this. You know what I'm saying? He like, going to come back and try to bite him in the ass. Man, man, and it's definitely he, coming back. he should back. know how these bitches is. He, he yeah. in the industry. You know how this shit yeah, goes. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. I mean, you do music and everything like that. Like, how would you... Deal with a situation of you know you was in a situation. If I was in that situation, you know, and if I took somebody's song, I would have paid them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Even before they even came to you, you would have tried to handle it even before putting the song off. That's what you, yeah. you basically saying. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, that makes look, sense. Man, I'll chip you off with this, and yeah. you know, take this, and you know. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, real or talk. Or really, no, really, I, I, I drop it and wait till they say something. Cause if they don't say nothing, then I ain't gonna say nothing. They gotta <laughs> yeah. say something to me first. Then I'm like, all right, look, I chip you off. But, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's what I would really do, being me. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, ain't even gonna yeah. cap. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. That makes sense. That's the real way to do but it. I man. wouldn't ignore you, know? you though. I wouldn't. I'm like, all right, fuck it, cause I already know the outcome of the shit. So I'm like, all right, come on here. Yeah, man. yeah. I made a hit. Now I got the chip. Now I, you know I can give you something. Yeah, yeah. yeah without yeah. hurting for me, like here, it was your shit. Here, here go two th- two million. 
Yeah, real talk, real talk. I mean, you know, you got to know what to ignore. You know, like somebody just coming at you, asking you for some bread, yo, oh, nut. You can, you can ignore that nigga. Yeah, bro, ignore the girl. You got her. You got her. Her voice on the songs and everything. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, come on, man. You, pay, yeah, you, you know, pay, I know bro. you making a lot of money, bro. But like, don't be just trying to lose money. Like, yeah. come on, bro. You know. But uh, what, what about you know, Swag? You did your music, music thing and everything like that. Like, what yeah. what, what, what position help, you would you take it. with it? You gotta like shit. Either you gotta have your Destro kid go do the our percentages, or if I already know it, it's it's a song and, and it's going, I'm like, you know what? Look, I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the base cost of, of what it is, and I'm taking. You feel me like that? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, look, yeah. you want me to cash you out now? If I, if I like that, you want me to cash you out now? You, you know what I'm saying? You want to do the percentages? Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. Real talk. Now I feel you on that. I man. cash you out now. Guess what? Yeah. That song blow up. You can't come. You can't yeah. come get me. Yeah, yeah. And that's where, it, you know, people got to start understanding how important business is when you're starting to get into, you know, those levels in world. You know, when it comes down to our community, we having probably the most opportunities we have ever had when it comes down to music mm -hmm. or, you know, yeah. just starting your own business, whatever. You know, social media, it, we it, we seeing things we ain't never seen before. So you got to know how to do business, man. You know, go take a course. Understand. Go talk to somebody who you see getting bread, you know, and know how to keep bread. Go talk to them or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. you got to know how to move. You got to know, hey, let me handle and take care of this before it get that far. Let me yeah. do a contract. Let me go and slide something over here. Take care of that because if it go to where it's going, I'm not saying that she's going to get a big chunk of this, but she's going to get millions. Oh, it yeah, ain't going to be 800000 like what you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. She's going to get some millions because it's her actual voice. And Puerto Rico is already saying, nah, we not feeling what he did. Yeah. So they already saying, nah, he gonna lose. He gonna lose some money. He about to lose a fan base and some money. Man, man, bro. So, I mean, hey, ho ho hopefully the dude don't lose the whole 40. That's all I can say about this. But, I mean, it looked like she is old something. So, I mean, hey, it is what it is, man. You know, so we'll move to the next thing. Uh, 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 I, I just wanted to throw this out there to see your thoughts. So, um, you know, you got, um, what's his name, uh, Jordan Peele from the uh, Golden State Warriors. Uh, I guess he took Ice Spice out on a date, <laughs> and he uh, basically spent five hundred thousand. I don't, I don't know how he spent five hundred thousand, but he spent five hundred thousand on one day, one day with Ice Spice. <laughs> Goofy, <laughs> what, what no. <laughs> Goofy number three. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Yeah. That's the third Goofy today. That's the third. That's the third, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred. got six oh, nine. Man. Troy on, had man. now Jordan. Yeah. Oh man, five hundred. Uh, Crazy five man. Five hundred. And then what if she wasn't even feeling you? Like, okay, you spent five hundred dollars, and she ain't giving no action. <laughs> no action. Oh Hot. man. See, Drake was a smart. Drake flew her out, I think, and uh, you yeah. know he followed he her and all her. that. <laughs> then he, when she went back, unfollowed her and all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I didn't hear. He's really spent anything. He did his more. This yeah, nigga Jordan Peele, yeah, you know. Like, nigga, I want you. He basically saying he wants you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. want to see what y'all can do. Like, <laughs> he's spending that money. He want to see what y'all can do. Man, but but the way I look, I mean, what's your thoughts on that, Swag? Nobody ain't paying no five hundred for no date, no <laughs> no puss, none of that, my nigga. You got me all the way fucked up. Five hundred k. Man, he is trash for that. Real talk, real talk. This is probably clowning that nigga all up in the locker room, like nigga for real. <laughs> Damn, that's the that's the that's the house, my nigga. Man, man, <laughs> like, that's crazy. I mean, even setting a tone like that, I'm like, to me, this the way I look at it. She ain't never gonna have real respect for the nigga. Hell, I don't. Man. I just don't see it. It's like a lot of dudes think, oh, okay, I'm just gonna chip her off and you know do this. She's seeing you spending the bag like that. She always just gonna come back yeah, for the bag. Right. She gonna try to you know what I'm saying? Up, like. No respect. I'm like, what is the dude thinking? You know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't coming to you. Cause she feeling you, she gonna come to you after yeah, that for spinning. the bag. <laughs> I'm like, dudes don't know how to move with coming. women. Like, dude, you. I mean, I, looking at you know Jordan, you know, Pill and everything. Oh, oh, I said Jordan Pill. What is uh, Jordan? Oh, Jordan. Uh, uh, Jordan Pool. Jordan Pool. My bad. Yeah, looking at Jordan Pool. I'm gonna be real. I kind of could see a little simp in him, you know, and everything like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? You got the Draymond situation yeah, yeah. where he got nothing. Tax right off that he shit. He did nothing keep, and everything, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it like, I mean, he seemed like a dude who probably do something like that, but I'm like 500, 500 though, 500K? 
Maybe 20, you know, if you want to really yeah. spend a bag on her the first day, whatever. You a millionaire, cool. Yeah, 20 ain't. Yeah. If you a millionaire, 20 K, ain't bad. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. For me, though, I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, five dollars or five, five K? K. Yeah, five five K. K. Yeah. As a millionaire or now? What you As say? a millionaire. Okay, yeah. okay. Five yeah, that don't K, sound bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's still cool. Like. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that's reasonable. Yeah. I, that's reasonable. Because I'm also thinking of one day. I'm, now, I'm not saying five exactly. K the, the whole month if we out doing our thing. One day, 5K. That's reasonable. I'll probably go into that just be real with you. But I can understand that because, you know, y'all probably, who knows what y'all did. You probably got her a little gift. You know what I'm saying? You know, Rose, I don't know, whatever. You know, went out to a nice dinner. You know, Benny, Mr. Mr. Chow's. You know what I'm saying? Shit who knows? be like a thousand. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Don't be a thousand or whatever. You know, uh, uh, you know, whatever. So, I mean, that's understandable about 5K, man. But I just don't understand the 500K, though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah. Like, what did, she spend that, what did she spend that shit on? What did yeah. she get, bro? That's what I want to know. What did yeah. she get, bro? She laughing at this thing. I'm telling you that right now. She with her homegirls and all that, laughing at her. Oh, I got this nigga. I got chips. And everyone see She like, see girl, it. should I fuck with him? Like, hey, get that money, girl. You know how yeah, them bitches yeah, talk yeah. shit. <laughs> shit. Go get another five. Man. Yeah, you <laughs> <for> that, <laughs> Sam. yeah, get him. Fuck with him. Yeah, yeah, real hey, talk. her own, trust me. <laughs> yeah. Straight up, straight up. And the whole world see it. And he don't Everybody. care. Goof, that's what makes him a goofy. Exactly, he even exactly. Respond, did he even respond to this shit? I don't think so, man. Yeah. I, I think it was a little something, you know, I think I don't think he, I don't know if he responded. I think he was asked it, but I would deny this shit. There's no way did it or not. I mean, I wouldn't do it, but I would have denied it. I ain't did K. nothing. She lying. <laughs> so what do you get? Gave her bro. money, wrote her a check. Like what the? F- I don't. I don't <laughs> do, like. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, they didn't go into details they, about they, this. They, yeah. they didn't go into details. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if he like got her a whip or something. You know, like that's what it was spent on. I don't know. Maybe got her a house. I don't. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe both. You know what I'm saying? Maybe mm. both. Maybe he got her a boat, a yacht. Here you go, a yacht, baby. Here I don't this, know. Here this, and, you know, condo, baby, here. And uh, here yeah. goes uh, <laughs> yeah, a yeah. Ferrari for you. And <laughs> yeah. It's like, what you want, here though, bro? Jewelry like, for you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what you want, though, bro? It's like. And gave her like 20 on the side. Yeah. 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 Real talk. I mean, we. I'm like, bro, she's not a wife, right? So if you're looking for a wife, I don't know what. I don't know what you spend that much money for. But she's not a wife right now. She's doing her thing. What are you trying to do that for? What do you want to accomplish? That's what I would ask to do. What are you trying to accomplish by doing that? You know what I'm saying? She not finna wife, be, wife you up. Like, that ain't happening. She on her grind right now. She just made it. She just got in the game. She yeah. out here doing what she do. You know? So I'm like, man, this dude tripping, man. But anything else on this dude, man? <laughs> He's trash. That's it. Trash, another, another goofy, right? Another goofy, another man. Goofy. <laughs> how many the day is gonna we go, be? We are gonna see how many goofies we get. So so <laughs> three far we got so three, far. three, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, three goofies so far. All right. So the next situation, um, so I don't know if y'all saw this, but DJ Academic, he was basically calling out um a lot of the top rappers, you know, the Drakes, the Kendricks, the J Coles, and people like that, um, for avoiding uh doing interviews on you know black podcasts and in black um, you know platforms and everything like that he basically was saying you know he was speaking on j cole and was talking about how j cole just went and did an interview with a really popular you know i think um white platform or something like that and he was like you know whenever black platforms try to get interviews with these dudes they don't take those interviews but you see them on you know uh, uh one of the shows on television or something the view or something you yeah. know whatever they on platforms like that so he was basically you know calling it out which i think was a you know hey you know big dj academics he stand on what he be saying and he gonna say what he want to say you know but uh what, what are your thoughts on it? you you're an artist what are your thoughts on you know the bigger artists you know not really going on black platforms and everything like that to do interviews uh man, you don't want to know what I really think. About I want to know shit, what you. Man. This is what this I'm a platform. Say, crazy. say what you say, bro. <laughs> Let it out. Let it out. That Illuminati only, you know that type of crap. Oh, like you know man. what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Like, I fuck with the white people crap. Like you know what I'm saying. Like uh, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think about that type of shit. Like. Yeah. What 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 make you like go there with it and think that like you know uh, uh give you a whole like kind of perspective on that. Because I'm pretty sure, like, the white people bring them up, correct, right? And yeah. it's like, y'all don't want to put no black y'all people on. Y'all want to, you know what I'm saying, follow the rules by the, what the white man tell y'all what to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. He tell y'all what to do, and y'all going to listen to whatever he say. 
Yeah, yeah. Cause y'all want that check still, like nah, he paying me good. I, you know, I ain't gonna ruin my check. And, you know, that's what it really be, man. Yeah, yeah. To me, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Real talk. Real and academic, talk. what he just spoke up on it. He spoke on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and you know he he did like a whole. It was like an hour, two hours. He was talking about it, man. Yeah. But he broke it down, and he was making a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, a lot of stuff he was saying is different. Uh, the perspective is a little different, but he you not kind of like far off with the direction he was going in though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So so yeah, it makes sense. You know, uh well, what are your thoughts on that swag? I mean, academic right. Why yeah, can't yeah. Why, why can't we get the stories first? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It made no sense. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, nah, yeah, I think yeah, academics yeah. make a lot of sense with what he said, you know, when it comes down to it at the end of the day, you know, um it's like where to respect that for your own culture. You know, that's what I always talk about when it comes down to our culture, man. That's something that we gotta work on. If we stuck together the way that a lot of these other cultures stick together, you know how far as a culture we would be, man? Oh, yeah, we got, sure. we, we, it's only in, in the U.S. alone, it's only about 13% of us. That's it, 13%. But we became, after white, white people, we became president first, you know, with Barack and everything yeah. like that. <laughs> and when it come down to it, we got, I believe this, the second most billionaires are black. You know what I'm saying? You know, when it come down to that too as well. So when it come down to it, us as black people, we smart, we talented, we know how to get money, mm -hmm. we got billionaires, all of that. Just imagine if we stuck together, they wouldn't want to fuck with us. You know, and that's what I be trying to like have a lot of people understand. Like, man, you know how strong we are together? Yeah, you probably making by yourself a hundred grand, but if it's all of us as a team and we make 500 million, that hundred grand yeah. just turned into, what, about 10 million because of the percentage you got? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we yeah, just yeah. gotta stick together, man. Support, man. Like support. people don't. We don't know. We selfish. Like you know what I'm saying. Our kind don't know how to really support. Like it's always gonna be some hate, secret shit. And yeah. Going on, like. Yeah, yeah. Real you know talk. It's all about support, and people don't want to do that for yeah, some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The support, you know, just for our own, you know, coach. Man, I remember a while back. You know, I, I have a very, very uh, successful uncle, man, and I never, and this, it stuck with me. You know, um, you know. You know, throughout, you know, my years and everything like that. You know, I never forget when I was a kid when he, you know, he said, you know, because I was asking, I was like, man, why you don't hire more of your friends and, you know, uh, maybe a couple of family members, you know, with what you're doing. You know, you're working with the celebrities. You got a big business. Why you don't hire none of your people? He's like, I don't want no niggas in my office. I'm like, damn. Damn. He straight up said, and he said it like, what are you talking about? I don't want no niggas in my office. I'm like, damn. This is crazy. Yeah, crazy. But the crazy thing, all I of this. I feel him, though, but yeah, yeah. he said it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe you're saying that because I'm his nephew, you know, and yeah. everything. He's just <laughs> nah, topping it up and nah, talking. He, he spoke the truth, though. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's the way he we be thinking, truth, right? Yeah. That's the way we be thinking, man. But I may, I wanted to make sure, you know, when I, like, started my first business in the medical field and this right here, I was like, nah, I want to work with our people. I want to, yeah, exactly. you know, that's what I, I wanted to be about Build. the culture. You know what I'm saying? Because it. You know, it's a lot of other places too, but it start. It got to start somewhere, you know. And that's what that's. I think that we need to just start thinking about this. What if we stood together? Yeah. How powerful that would be, you know. So I mean, I, I like that DJ Academics with his platforms. He got a really big big platform. I like that he's speaking up on this yeah, type yeah. of stuff, man. Because you know, we as a whole need to really start to make this a topic in our community. You know what I'm saying? You know that. Yeah. See, it it ain't that. They smarter or, or got more money than us. If you got 30, a family of 30 Asians that just came from their country and they come out here, they'll do something, right? Let's say a job or I was saying they go to a, a study. You know, they be having a little studies. You go there, do it for like a couple of weeks, make some money. They'll go to a study with a game plan. All right, we're going to make 5000 from this study. We're going to all put the money together when we get up out of here and we're going to get a business. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're going to come up. They do it 10 years later. They all living great you know what i'm saying and they spreading it out and getting more people from their uh country to right. come out here with the money that they yeah. didn't made from what they did putting their money together we would never do no shit like that you know what i'm saying yeah, we go no. to something like that we have a game plan you, you have when that when niggas leave that study you wouldn't be able to find it like hold up we're supposed to all put our money in you can't hey, hey phone ringing can't find this dude can't find this dude you know what i'm saying you get a dispensary pack smoked man <laughs> <laughs> They walk in like, man, what the? <laughs> ah, pins missing. Man, man. 
Like, why we can't work together, bro? Like, we ain't gonna be coming. <laughs> man, they man. They gonna on you, like. It's crazy, man, you know? But on the other hand, when it come down to, like, you know, doing interviews, you know, and stuff like that on on, on, on different platforms, man, I that's I got I got a lot of respect for, like, you know, you know, your crew and everything like that. Like, you know, when we chopped it over with Ralphie, he came, you know, on the, on the platform and everything, you know? So um, I know y'all independent, though. Y'all do your own thing. You know, a lot of these... Dudes who we was talking about, J. Cole, Drake, they not independent. Yeah. You know, they, yeah, they, 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 they go that falls more aligned under what you were saying. They 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 work for those big corporations and nah, you know, they nah. sign with people like that and everything, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, I respect what y'all are doing and you know what y'all have built because it's independent. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you can kinda like move how you wanna move when it's you yeah. know, built like that exactly. and everything. You know what I'm saying? Ain't so no leash, like you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 exactly. No leash at all. So you can't show for us. You can't. You know what I'm saying? Tell me, we can't drop music. Yeah, you, you can't know what be. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. How? Th- let's talk about that for a minute, man. How much flexibility that give y'all? You know, because we already know, man. Y'all could, y'all could have had deals, many deals. We've been offered deals. Been had, so you know what I'm saying? Oh, we, we know. Basically, we ain't getting no label deal. It ain't happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the whole shot. We ain't getting no label deal. It ain't happening. Basically. Yeah, yeah. All these little, oh, we gonna give you this, this, that, and them, that, this, that. Like, nah. Yeah. We need a label deal. Yeah, okay, yeah. And that's crazy. The way y'all move, you would think that all the labels would have tried to give y'all a label deal. That's what you would think, you know, seeing how y'all move, you know, the projects that y'all put out ever since Draco and everything like that. You would think that y'all would have got offered a, a nice label deal, but, you know, it's crazy. You know, yeah, you know they gonna hate, man. You know what I'm saying? They gonna hate, but we gonna keep stunning, show them like we don't need no label. Yeah. Like, we can, we got the wave, like no matter what, like yeah. you know what I'm saying, independently, like you know what I'm saying, self promotion type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all, y'all just did a, 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 a tour, right? Exactly. Yeah. And we got another tour coming up too. We, nice. Again, it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, be on the lookout for that too. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. The the, the tour was dope though. How many cities did y'all do? Man, I want to say like. 18, 19. Yeah, that's good. That's, yeah, that's, that's what's up, up man. That's, that's what's up. up. That's dope. That's real dope, man. We were driving state to state, like, you know what I'm saying? Man, 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 that's what's up. Did y'all have, like, a, you know, like on a, um, a tour bus, so y'all just drove? Just, yeah. Okay, Like okay. a sprinter van and then a big truck. Dope. Oh, yeah. That's Caddy what's up. Truck. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's dope. See, the flex- flexibility of being independent, y'all able to do what y'all want to do and move how y'all want to move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like how, how let the people know about being independent and being able to have that flexibility, like the feeling from that. Yeah, it's, it's good, feel good, like like you open. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like nobody can't hold you down, like type shit. Like it's mm. a lot of these rappers that's going through. You know what I'm saying? They little personal label shit. You know what I'm saying? Wish they never signed. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't have to go to that. We ain't felt that yeah. pain because we ain't through that. Like yeah. we having fun. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just dropping like. Trying to take over the world, like that's what Draco would have wanted. So we gonna yeah. try to take over the world. Draco and Ketchy would have wanted us to yeah. do that. Like, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. gonna take over the world with this shit. Like yeah. that's why we say sneaks run LA. Like music wise, that's what we talking about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So people be getting that misunderstood. Like, oh y'all run that like y'all ain't you know what I'm saying this. I ain't gang. I'm like, bro, we talking about some music shit. Yeah, nigga, music, we street yeah. too. Don't get it twisted. Like yeah. nigga. Don't get fucked up, like nigga. I'm from, at the end of the day, nigga. I'm, I'm a crip at the end of the day, nigga. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. push yeah. all the way, like. Yeah, That's yeah. why the homies used to be mad at me back in the day, cause I was like the only gang member. So wherever we go, like we was busting it everywhere. Yeah, like you yeah. know what I'm saying, different people hood. And every time we got banged on, like I always bang the hood. They used to be like, "Ooh, like is something gonna happen?" Yeah, like you yeah. know, sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. Like yeah, we fighting yeah. or, or are we just niggas or some of the, the they ain't tripping. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's been like that since we was like a nigga middle school and, and high school and shit, like ninth grade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I mean, I mean, and also too, you know how it is in LA. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, though, y'all stuck together. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, so and everything. And on the music side, yeah, people should understand. I mean, even in our, we was doing our top ten yeah. uh, LA artists of all time, and yeah. we had Draco in the top ten. Yeah, and we you know had what Ralph, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ra- yeah. Ralphie was in. We had the top. He was in the top twenty five. Yeah. But Draco 25. was in our top ten. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, you know, music, you can't dispute it. You can't, can't dispute, dispute it, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, so yeah, definitely a top ten of all time. You know, uh, uh, you know, rapper and Rafi in that mix too. And I know y'all coming up, man. So, so yeah, man. You know, hey, I love the unity, man, of our people. Rather, it's music, what we doing, podcast, yeah. business, whatever it is. I just love that unity. 
And I, I just think that more of us need to be doing that, man. That's the only way we're going to really start to elevate and get to the places that we want to get to. The place that you see us out there marching for and putting up signs for when something happened. Why we got to wait for something to happen? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it. Like, why we got to wait? Why we just don't have that unity now? Once that's over, back to normal. Yeah. Man, it's going against each other. It's killing each other. You know what I'm saying? You know, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey man, you know, shout out to Act for like uh talking about this stuff. Shout out to Act, man. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, made me go yeah. viral on jail before. Like Oh for real? I did yeah, a music so. video on jail, like I'm gonna say like 2015, 16, yeah. and he had reposted it and then it just went viral and then World Star reposted it. Yeah. But he was like the first one to repost my shit. Like uh, wow. so and it went viral, like it was a jail music video. Wow, yeah. shout out to Act, man. Shout out to Act, man. He's a real nigga, man. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what, have you have you met Act? I never met him though. Like, okay, okay. He just yeah, posted yeah. my shit. Like, oh, he, uh, I think the caption was like, he said people beg me for shout outs or some shit like that. Yeah. And he said this nigga rapping in jail, putting in like the work, like because I made a whole jail mixtape and all that shit. Yeah. Wow, so he yeah, did a post like that and then posted it like. Then I just my Instagram just started going crazy after that. Wow. And then when World Star posted, it just went even crazier. And then you know it what I'm saying. Over. I wow. ended up losing my Instagram though, but you know what I'm Damn. saying. <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's what's up though, man. Hey. So shout out to Act. Man. Yeah. No matter what, man. One thing I can say about Act, man. Act be supporting people. You know what I'm saying. Act is when it come down to his platform, he shares platform with a lot of people, and especially people from you know our culture and everything like that. So. You know, I definitely, you know, uh, uh, like what Ak is doing. And Ak, you don't see him just jumping so, because Ak, let's be real. Ak, is, Ak probably have one of the biggest voices in hip-hop today. Today, right? Yeah, he's funny. He, he could funny. easily have a deal with, you know, Apple or over there yeah. with whatever, making 10, 20 million a year, you know what I'm saying, and doing whatever they tell him to do. But he don't, you know what I'm saying? He keep his little independent platform, baby. you know, it's and everything like way. that. Yeah, yeah. Get that check. Yeah, real talk, real talk. So, yeah, again, man, shout out to Act. Man, this shout thing. out to Act. Yeah, so. All right, all right. So, uh, 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 we got this situation, man. Uh, you know, uh, well, I know y'all know about the situation with uh, Wild Finn Lucci and um, his crew. And then you got, uh, you know, Thug and his crew and everything yeah. like that. So, basically, um. It came out that YF and Lucci refused, uh, even with they beef and they issues Shit. and everything like that, he refused to rat on Thug in court. You know what I'm saying? So uh, basically, just reading a little bit on it, the court documents dated January 9, 2023, uh, uh, purportedly shows that authorities unsuccessfully attempted to affect personal services on YF and Lucci to appear as a witness in the Young Thug YSL Rico trial. Young Thug and a dozen other defendants are currently on trial in relations to dozens of charges for racketeering, murder, gang, gang crime, and other related offenses. Prosecutors say were committed between 2021 and 2023. Um, Wife and Lucci was arrested last May and has been incarcerated at Cobb County Jail as this trial continue, which is still at the jury selection stage um, Damn, goes on. He been for a minute, though. Yeah, yeah. Four months. Yeah. Uh, Four months there have been speculation and rumors that YF and Lucci might appear as a witness to testify against Young Thug, uh, but that did not happen, and these documents prove that. So, uh, man, what are your thoughts on YF and Lucci, man? Wife you know, Lucci, standing strong. Yeah, standing strong, man. Stuck, sticking to the code, like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping it. Yeah, he, he did, man. No, ma no matter what they have going on, he, he definitely... He definitely yeah. stood on the code, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So he can't say nothing about YFN. Yeah, yeah, real talk, real talk. What's your thoughts on this swag? Yeah, sticking to the code, and she ain't got time for that shit right now. He, he got to focus on what he he got going against him right now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Real he, he talk. get on that motherfucking stand, it's over. Yeah, you know, come back, come go, what, go on a yard or whatever, and, and get knocked down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, you ain't lying about that. I mean, all you can. I mean, you can sit there and say, yeah, YFN was a real one for it. You know. And I know they came at him with a deal. Like, hey. Yeah, you know they did. Short, like, mm, yeah. You know they did. Here, yeah, yeah. You know they did. See, like, his situation, like, I would always say is, like, be real with who you are. A lot of the cats who call themselves street cats, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you know you're going to go and take a plea or give information and all that, stop trying to stand on being a nigga like that. If it ain't you, it ain't you. If you're a civilian, you're a civilian. If you're not really street, you're not really street. Oh, well, you know what I'm saying? But if you're going to act like you this and that, stand on it, Ryan Finn Lucci, like the way he stood on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
That's all. I, no matter who you are, that, that to me is never the issue. Whatever you trying to be and who you are and everything like that, it's when you faking the funk. You know what I'm saying? You do this type of music. You claim this. You're a part of this. Everything about you supposed to be street. But then when you get locked up for something, you quick to take a plea or to turn on your crew. Like, what the hell? You know, I can't respect that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's hard to respect that, man. You know, but if you was a dude, like, for instance, I'm just being real. If J. Cole or Kendrick got locked up and they took a plea or something like that, I wouldn't even think nothing of it. They always was like, you know, uh, 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 you know, black white boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's squares. <laughs> Basically, they always was like that. I wouldn't think nothing crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I know some. They may lose some fans, whatever. But most of their fan base, let's be real, is other cultures. Yeah. It's not just blacks, yeah. black people. You know what I'm saying? But when you claim in the streets and all that, and you really rep in the streets, that's where I get kind of like confused. Like, bro, where did that come from? You know, so. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, anything else on this situation with YF and Lucci? Shit. I'm going to put him in a real nigga category. <laughs> three That's goofies not, and one real Still three one. goofies. Okay. So three no, goofies and one real yeah, one. Yeah, three <laughs> goofies, one real I don't know. The next one be goofy. But, hey, uh, 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 Francis, uh, while we bring up this next topic, let's start um, showing some people in the chat. Let's start uh, seeing what people are saying in the chat, reading some of the comments, man, and, uh, you know, uh, letting the people get a part of this conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just start pulling up some of the chat. All right. Uh, why he pulling up some of the chat, you know, so I'll be in and out um, on his next topic. So uh, did y'all see that last show that um, Lil Uzi Vert had um, where he was in an all red with the, you know, little <laughs> devil tails and everything like that. So so basically people was trying to put it out there that little Uzi Vert is a, is a devil worshiper. But he yeah. then said that. That's that's what I'm yeah. saying. You know, basically, right? You know, it's not no shot. He, I remember he said that a long time. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He been said that and everything like that. But he's now trying to clean it up. You know, because at one point he said, "Hey, I'm taking all." He said this at a show. I'm taking all y'all to him. Exactly. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Show, yeah. He talked that talk. Like, yeah, yeah. Know, basically, you know, it's not no shocking. Like, yeah, basically, you know what I'm saying and everything like that. But you know, now he's basically going back on it. And saying that, you know, trying to clear the air on the accusations and basically saying, nah, I don't worship the devil. You know what I'm saying? I was just messing around and everything. The label <laughs> told him to do that. The label, uh, right? Who, the label who, who he signed with? I, uh, I I think he under DJ Drama now. I think he under them, you know, and everything like that. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know exactly what label, but he under DJ Drama, I believe, you know, and, and that crew over there. But um, I don't know, man, dude. Do do y'all do y'all believe that he really was about that life when it come down to worshiping the devil? And also, do y'all see and feel that a lot in hip hop culture when it come down to worshiping the devil and stuff like that in that type of you know music? You know, yeah, people do that like in the industry, like you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. He was open with it, like it's a it's a few of them that's open with it, and it's like a few of them that secretly does it, like wearing something that symbolizes like. Satism, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah. People be doing it secretly, like wearing. I didn't see like outfits on some Illuminati, like devil horns type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's promoted all yeah. on TV, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The devil was time. controlling music, like you know what I'm saying? When he was an angel, so, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I ain't gonna get too deep in that. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, go there, the man. Truth, man. Go there. I mean, people need to know. You know, I read my Bible. I mean, I see where yeah. you're going with it. Go there, bro. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> go there, it. bro. Like I read. Hey, like, hey, talk about it. Talk about it. Hey, shit, we know what this yeah. industry is. Like at the end, of, like if you want to be at that high, high point, like that high, high point. Yeah. You, you gotta, you know, you gotta do something. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. This ain't that. That life ain't free. Like being on Forbes and all that shit ain't ain't free. Like you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, with some high hills and shit. Some, yeah, some pantyhose on. <laughs> you gotta sell your soul to <laughs> motherfuckers. Real talk, real talk. I mean, I'm 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 with you when it comes down to that. One thing that people don't know is that, you know, the 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 devil was was God's most loved angels. You get what I'm saying? And he was the most gifted. When it came down to to music, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and everything like that. A lot of people don't even know that, you know that story and everything. So yeah. when it come down to it, yes, a lot of that type of, you know, uh, 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 music and thing like that, things like that is it is definitely involved in music. For so surely. when you see things like you know a little Some Uzi and stuff like that, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Like that ain't that ain't no game. That's real. 
Um, he's Al- doing what they're telling him to do, man. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Albert um, K. Num, um, to K7, glad to see him grinding and shining. Oh, yeah. Hey, shout out. Anything to say back hey, to Albert? Man, you know what I'm saying? Keep the truth alive, man. That's shit, man. Keep the truth alive and we know the truth, man. Yeah, real talk, real talk. So, uh, kind of going back uh, uh, on that topic. So, what's, what's your your thoughts on it, Swag? You know, when it comes down to Lil Uzi and also that type of music in 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 in, in hip hop or whatever. Like, do you do you see it and feel that a lot as well? Oh yeah, you know. But before you get into yours, I just want to read this. Christ- Christine Silva, Justice for X. He should still be here. Oh, you must have saw that because we're gonna jump on that too as well. But uh, I believe that they already locked up though. But uh, appreciate the. Comment, Christine. Appreciate that. Um, what are you saying on Swag? Just put the picture back up. Uzi looking like a uh, <laughs> punk rock Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like I'm not feeling that. You already know anybody that's you over there hanging out with Marilyn Manson, bro. That nigga dress. You see the way he dressed? Like, like come on, man. Yeah, ain't nobody. You know, off of him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Real talk. Real talk. I play him here. And, I play him here and there. You know, but. When I, when I seen the Rolling Out Loud performance, I was like, bro, this is this is not what what, what, what he was on last year. Man. You know what I'm saying? He was more urban dressed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now you're dressing like, I don't know what, what he came out looking like. And he be know. dancing like a bitch. Like. Got, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he definitely be doing that, man. Definitely on some real stuff, man. you know? He, he, don't he kind of look <laughs> like Mike on Thriller, though? Dude, with the jacket on? Like, good. He look like a worse Michael O'Dell. Like this nigga eyes. really he from the, hell. They got the lizard eyes in there. Like he's yeah, ugly. Yeah, yeah. Girl got a crazy fan base though. Yeah, they fuck with him. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Man, real heavy, real heavy. You know, I mean, but people better start to like. Oh, let me. Uh, be, uh, be know the truth. Yo, K Seven actually there. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all thought we was lying. Niggas thought we was lying. Oh, man, I'm here. <laughs> the K Seven actually here. Come on, man. You know by now, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 brings the people and connected. K7 is here in the flesh. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You know. <laughs> the K7 really is. That's funny. That's funny though. But when it come down to it, man, like I believe we get into the place where we're gonna start seeing this stuff a lot more. You know, like I mean, you talk. You were speaking on that a little bit earlier. I mean, people better understand. They talk about this, and this is talked about in the Bible, in Revelation. A lot of stuff that we seeing and hearing about now. You know, when it come down to this little Uzi, Uzi verse stuff, ain't new. You know what I'm saying? This stuff been going on. You know, he centuries. He, he may be taking it to another level, telling everybody in the crowd, "I'm taking all y'all to hell." <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? he taking it to a whole other level. Hey, fuck on the My, crazy you level. know, look, Drew, <laughs> real experience, bro. Look, we was at a, uh, no. <laughs> we was at a Playboy Cardi uh, joint. A live performance The homie left I said why you leaving my nigga He said yeah my nigga He about to be on some weird shit I'm gone I said damn He went to go see somebody else uh, I stayed man. I was like damn Yeah like, What the fuck is this <laughs> <laughs> I gotta <laughs> Did you get a little taste Of what was going I, on I was trying to see what was going on Like why the homie leave Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feeling that shit. I mean, you know what it is, man. You know, it's got a lot of money. You got the drugs and all. I mean, you know, on a whole nother level with it. You know, but uh, a lot of a lot of dudes don't get in there and stay solid, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, respect to all the ones who stay solid, man. Really? No matter what. Pamela Alima. Um, I've literally never met anybody from LA that listened to. D Savage, where did that come oh, yeah, from? I listen to D Savage. Yeah, yeah, I listen to yeah. D Savage. I, I heard a couple, heard a couple, heard a couple of songs. He I mean, trash. I don't listen to D Savage. What, <laughs> what, 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 what you goofy don't like? Number four. Goofy. Uh oh. Uh oh. So what? You you just don't like D Savage music, or is there like a little something? Like something it's a little like he should. He, he just spoke up on me when he shouldn't have spoke up on oh, me. Like, okay. Oh. When he don't even know me at the end of the day, like you feel what I'm saying? So. Yeah, Ever yeah. since then, I just been on his ass. Well, like. from, is, is, is he from up north? No, he's, he's supposed to be from South. Nah, he nah, claims he from South here. Central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that nigga was twenty like, blood. I thought he supposed was from, to like, be D- right. Detroit or some nah, shit. Nah, nah, he from the city, bro. Yeah, I remember he was from out here. Yeah, yeah, he from uh, the city. I literally never heard a song from him. Like never heard even people in LA listen to him. You heard like yeah, one. I heard like yeah. maybe like one or two. 
I mean, D Savage is he's he known. Goofy number he's known. Four. You know what I'm saying? So that's, number, <laughs> that's goofy. Number four. What what made so out of the blue? He just said something about you, like it was no issue, no beef, nothing ever said. And he just said nothing ever said. I mean, like if you want to take it back, our hoods beef, like you no, know what okay. I'm saying, that okay. type. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. So maybe that's why he felt like, oh, I'm gonna speak up on this nigga type of shit. Like, yeah. oh fuck, he a op anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Mm. And yeah, you don't know me, like you don't know, no, don't know nothing. Just on some internet ass shit, like wow. went on Vlad. Like I'm like this nigga is goofy. Like I, once Vlad. I catch you, oh, he's trash. Wow, so he went on Vlad and said something. He went yeah, on Vlad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah, Vlad yeah. a mark himself, like yeah, Vlad yeah. a mark. He was a, when DJ Academic posted me. He he actually one of the niggas that hit me up in my Instagram, like. Okay. We can do a, like a little like like video chat interview or some weird yeah. shit like that. And I was I was down for it. Like I didn't have no issue with him then. Like, yeah, yeah. But you let this nigga go and say some crazy shit. But then the, like when I hit you up, hey man, I need to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You let this dude come on there. Hold on, let me come up in there and, yeah. and speak what yeah. I gotta speak type shit. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't want to do that, so I'm like, he's a gay man. He op, you a police, you all that. Shit. <laughs> wow. And, and that's and that's kind of weird that Vlad didn't. You know, want you to But do he that. hit me uh, up in jail. Like, come on yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. You goofy. He goofy number four. How many is that? That's four. He so that's four. five. That's goofy number five. <laughs> Vlad, man. I'm sorry. They coming out today. Oh, man. That's Vlad crazy. Vlad is goofy number five. That's crazy, man. Wow. So, yeah, so, yeah we. I wasn't even aware of that, you know, situation or that issue with, you know, D. Savage. Like, until this day, y'all have not spoke, saw each other, nothing since that situation. This nigga, man, like, 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 I seen him one time, and he was just like, like, I was trying to catch up to him, like, hey, come here, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was just pushing, like, down Mail Road, like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, like, <sighs> like, man, so he started power walking, man. man. <laughs> but and then one time, hey. right, like, I just went to Rami, like, I think I was like, I think I was getting like my, I, I loaned my chain, I was getting it back out, yeah. So I got yeah. my chain out. Two hours later. That nigga went up in there in Rami's shop and did, I don't know what he did, but he was in Rami's shop two hours later after I was just, I'm like, damn, I just left that motherfucker. Like, yeah. once I catch him, I'm just going to slap him. Like, it ain't, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, That's man. it. I mean, if you want to take it there, like, you know, you, you don't want to take it there with me. Use it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You soft, bro. Let's be realistic here, like. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, man, you know? Hey, for any other ones, probably, any other like issue, anybody else, just D, D Savage, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Everything, you know? Yeah. He's like, he's like, let me out, think man. about it. There's a couple of them, my man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a couple of them. But uh, nah, man, I mean, to be honest, man, the way, the only thing I say from hopefully in the, in the future, man, you know, I, you know, if something needs to happen, it can happen. But hopefully in the future, man, y'all can kind of like mend that and do do great music because, you know, both of y'all do y'all thing, I man. Not, both, at the end of the day, like, you know, you know, the hood he claimed he's from. Okay, it's deeper, basically. Yeah, like, than, yeah. That was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, stand against my, I stand by the cold. Like, yeah. our hood's beef. Like, you one of our worst ones type beef. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why, like, that would even never happen. Like, yeah. But like I said, I wouldn't, I'll just slap you. Like, that's it. Smack yeah. the shit out of <laughs> you. Yeah. Smack. And leave it at that. Leave basically. it at that. It's over with. You good yeah. now? Don't yeah, trip. Yeah. I ain't on you. Yeah. Cause you really ain't really really ain't from over there like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't like, know he was from even out here. I thought he was from like. Yeah, exactly. I thought he, he from, gave out that vibe, right? Yeah, I thought yeah. he was like I thought he was like yeah. Detroit or something. No, I yeah, I definitely knew he was from out from here. Midwest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I knew he was from out here. He used yeah. to hang with like some of the stink team, like Chiefin and, and shit, like Cam and shit back in the day. Type yeah. Shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, I feel you on that. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, like when when they come down to that on that level, you know, the street stuff, I don't, you know, you know, get involved with that. But I always like to say, you know, if, if they're when they come down to our community, if you got to handle it, you handle it. But I always hope for the best that you know, you, you know, you could come together later. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they come down to y'all both talented. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, come together and, and do something. But hey. I'm from LA. When they go to he that, that level, goofy category. when they go to that level, cool. that street yeah. level, when Once it's like that, that I'm, I, I got so. nothing to say <laughs> about that. You know, that's that's a different. You know what I'm saying? That's politics and stuff. You know what I'm saying? See my way out of that. You know? Okay. Uh, the real John Diesel. Follow the real John Diesel. Real East Oakland goon. All right, mm. all right. Hey, shout him out. The real John Diesel. Hey, hey. Real you know, John support. Diesel. Follow the real John Diesel. Real East Oakland um, goon. Hey, go follow uh John Diesel, man. You know, show him support, show him love. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if if you still watching it, let us know what you do. You know what I'm saying? We haven't um 
looked at your channel yet, but nah, like write it. something and let us know what that you do, man. What you do on your channel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Adam G. Nah, he like her. What is that? What are you talking about? Nah, he like her. With the uh, Ice Spice situation? Oh, the oh, Ice Spice situation? Ice Spice. Okay, nah, he like Yeah, her. I know that. That's why he's spent 500 I mean, yeah, 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 they definitely like her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying at the, end of the, at the end of the day, when it come down to her, she could be just playing the game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting that bad. You know, so... Yeah, we definitely know in there like yeah. her. He, he want to be with you know her. Like, you better not be doing that wanna, just to hit. He want to be with you her. You a fool. You he know what I'm saying? He did that just to hit. If you just to, he yeah, a fool he if he did it just. Hit. Like, you better be. <laughs> he might I, better be I better be hitting every day for the next 20 yeah. years. Damn. He said next day every What do you mean? Years. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Adam G. He going to bang a uh, contract. She, uh, he want that. Uh, I, I mean, we don't. Look, we don't. I'm guessing he's saying he going he gonna end up hitting. I'm guessing that's what he said. He going to hit. bang a. It's a contract. I mean, and we don't know if it's a contract. Well, to be quiet about to be quiet about this bro. whole situation. Uh, what's the con- Who got a contract? We don't know he's that. He's a basketball star. Yeah, NBA rising star. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, and she's a. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. A, the, the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the artist. Yeah, yeah. and to be real, some niggas will spend money. You know, he just a, a, a mega rich some nigga. Big, he you know what I'm that saying? Big, big, big check. That big, for real, for real. So, I mean, I don't think, you know, they signed anything or whatever. No, it wasn't so, you know, off the hook girls, it was cap. Oh, when they come down to the, the Jordan situation. Pool situation. I mean, if it was cap, it was cap. I'm just saying it. I, 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 thought, I, I hey, thought she was talking to the weird. It, it, uh, it, it needs to be cap, but nigga. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I'm not in their life. Uh, I'm the just Kim Kardashian story. nigga. That, uh, oh, Kim, Kim Kardashian just uh, got rid of. I thought uh, she was talking to him. You thought Paul, that was Ice Spice? Yeah, I thought she was talking to him at first. Oh, you talking about well, the, she, she probably Oh, was. I forgot who was that dude Kim Kardashian was uh, with. Uh, yeah, Kanye was Kanye tripping. Got yeah. into it. I thought she was I talking to him. I forgot that dude name. Oh, right Pete there. Davidson? Yeah, yeah I Pete thought she was Davidson. messing with him. They did say something yeah. about Ice Spice. I think I did see Pete. something like that, like on a date or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Or they was together He didn't drop no 500K. Yeah, yeah. 500, who, Pete Davidson? Yeah. Nah, he probably didn't give her nothing. He got chipped, too. See who you talking about? Juliet Hannah, rest in peace. Condolences to the family. Your soul, love on. Um, I don't even know. Uh, Juliet, can you let us know what you're talking about? Yeah, you know, uh, maybe go more into who family. Yes, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, a lot of times when y'all writing up certain things, you know, which we really appreciate. Um, elaborate a little bit, explain a little bit, yeah. go in a little bit more detail, so we know where you're coming from, so we can Get like deeper. shout it out. You know what I'm saying? The, the real way and everything <laughs> like that. But um. Off the hook girls, uh, free tax stone. Hey, hey, I don't like no, I don't like when it come down to us, I don't like us being locked up, period. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Now that 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 air holder shit is on another level, like you know, I always said when it come down to that nigga, get that nigga yeah, the death trying, penalty or, or or let him out on the streets, you know. But him being locked up for 50, 60 years or whatever and having an opportunity to get out, I mean, like to me, that's a different situation. I, I don't really feel that, but. I, I, that's the way I look at it. Either get a nigga super life and you know, p- you know, whatever. Let the niggas in jail handle them. You know what I'm saying? Or let the nigga out and let the streets handle them. Period. Mm-hmm. Or off the hood girls. L.A. rap scene got no motion. What? Wow. What are, What are your thoughts on that? What off that? the hood girls said L.A. rap scene got no motion. No, actually, we picking up. Like, I don't know what they talking yeah. about. Like, oh, Zoe Osama going crazy, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he got like that real. I'm gonna give him that real, like West Coast style type. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody kind of going crazy right now, like Ralphie. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, all yeah. the stinks, yeah, like you know. Greedo what I'm saying? just get, came out. He Greedo, out, he yeah. about to go cray cray. You know. Yeah. yeah Kaylin yeah. going crazy. Roddy, you know what I'm saying? He, from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's be realistic here, like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ralph, Ralphie put out a song every day. Man, <laughs> every day so I look up. She like, said, "LA are just like, the West Coast." Premiering period. at two p.m. I'm like, put out a song every day. That's, that's dope, though. She, but, did she say nah, LA? She said, she said the LA rap scene. Oh, okay. What I say? Basically, yeah, well, LA oh, rap you know scene is like you know. I say, oh wait, that's, that's, that's Diego, just the whole rap shit scene, going bro. Up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think she, mean like was, LA, LA, not okay, like Diego, yeah, the Bay, and all that. You know what I'm saying? Those areas. You know, we we picking back up. Like what? Real talk, real talk. Nah, I mean, I'm we here, so we see it, man. Straight up, off the hook, girls. Who y'all got between Wack versus Jay Diggs? Uh, according to what? I mean, like you know, what a fight? Or? Yeah, like are we talking about fighting or something like that? Like according to what? When it come down to uh, to fight, I mean, shoot, and then you put 
two niggas together and fight. I don't know who coming out of that. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you never know. You you never know. It's a mystery. You know, real talk, real talk. Okay, uh, Christine Silva, RP to the ruler. Oh yeah, always of course. Nipsey Slim 400. Yes, Yes. definitely of course. Base and basically all the brothers that held it down in the war going on outside. You know, Long live the real ones. Stay solid and live your truth. You know, hey, that's what I said. Long live the goats. Yeah, yeah. yeah, those are all goats up there. You know what I'm saying? You and Slim 400, man. He's yeah, doing this thing. Right. I actually fucked with Slim. Definitely. Like, he couldn't DM me, like, like I guess out of nowhere, fucking with my music type shit. Yeah. Dope, dope. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Did y'all, y'all ever get to meet in person or was it like through? We never, it's just never meet up in person. Like, because yeah, he yeah. followed me when I was in jail. And then when I lost that Instagram, made a new one. When I basically like when I got out of jail, he followed that account too. So I'm like, yeah. so Cub basically yeah. like I felt like he was keeping up with me or something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, real talk, real talk. I mean, he always seemed like a solid dude. Anytime seeing him, you know, he was on an you know interview or whatever, he was not playing with six nine. I tell you that much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he seemed like a real one. You know when it came down to it. You know so uh, again, man, shout out to uh, 400 man, Albert uh, K9. This is heat right here. K7 got one. Oh, real talk. You know what okay, I'm saying? K7, know, he in man. a building, man. Yeah, he in a building. Know. Also, too, while we own it and they shouting you out, hey, let the people, give give the people one of your joints that you want them to check out right now. You right know now it's going crazy. Go check out uh, uh, For the Night Freestyle. Like, yeah. just dropped that like five days ago. You know, it's dope. going crazy right now. Dope, dope. That's Go check up. out the whole tape, though, the whole Feeling Different mixtape. It's going yeah, crazy. Yeah. Where, where can they find it? On all platforms. Okay, okay. Video on YouTube for the for the night, man. Go blast that and run that up. Real talk, real talk. Go check it out now. Uh, Damian Ferlin, long live Draco the Ruler. Long live Catchy the Great. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know. We know hey, the truth. You hear? Uh, we, we long live. Go no, ahead. no, you good, you good, you good. Yeah, long live the goats, man. Real talk. And you already gave us a story about Drake. You got a, a story with uh, Catchy? <clears throat> How I first met Catchy. I met Catchy through uh, the homie Troy, right? Because we just like the jerking scene was like yeah. hot back then. So, you know, I, I I made like a little click type shit. So then uh, it was me and the homie. I made him the, the Troy CEO. Then uh, he was like, hey, I'm going to bring. He called him his cousin at first. Like, I'm going to bring my cousin, man. He going to be yeah. like, he want to be a CEO too type shit. And I was like, come on, man. I don't really want too many CEO. It's just me and you. Like, yeah. he like, he cool. He cool. Like, <laughs> so Cub brought Cub around. Like, all right, Cub vibe was cool. Like, yeah. then ever since then, like, Cub, me and Cub have like been close. Like, day one, day one. Yeah, like, dope, dope. one of my day one best friends type shit. Like, dope. thugging together. Like, doing everything. Like, spending the night catching the bus to parties. You know, yeah, he yeah. was with me squabbling shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why him and Draco was always with me. Like even some of the homies wasn't squabbling with me, but Draco and Ketchy was the main ones. They never not squabble with me. Yeah. Man, man. That's they never not saying. squabble with me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. We used to go to these parties and shit like that. And, you know, cause I'm gang bang, so yeah. you know it's ops there. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I used to do that because I feel like, all right, I got some niggas that's gonna squabble with me. So I'm turned <laughs> up. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Back then, banging on niggas, like you know, tripping. Yeah. I ain't like that no more, but. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's you know, that's, that yeah. used to be crazy. Like, and Ketchy was like, we used to spit. I remember, no, I got one story for sure. Me and Ketchy, it was a lot of us. We uh, we was off the uh, young off Seroquel pills. I don't know if y'all know what that is. Of course, I, well, I know what it is. Yeah, yeah so yeah, we was yeah. like, you know, we catching the train. Like me, Ketchy, Draco, uh, Scotty, Mikey, Smooth. Like we catching the train off Seroquel. Me and Ketchy got to get off at the Crenshaw station. Yeah. They getting off at the Vermont station. So when they, we all like kind of dozing off type shit. So uh, uh, Draco and, and, and Scotty and all them, they got off on Vermont. So me and Ketchy pushed to uh, Vermont. Like I'm keeping him up type shit yeah. so nigga won't fall asleep. Like, come on, man. We ain't gonna miss the stop. Yeah. We get off at the Crenshaw station. Boom. So then uh, we waiting on the bus. Then we going in and out and we missed like two, three buses already. Man. Uh, and then nigga like I'm like, come on man, like we gotta wake up. Like so yeah. we hopped on a bus and uh I got off on Crenshaw in Manchester because I lived over there at the time. Yeah. So I'm like, I tell the bus driver, yeah. like, hey, make sure he get off on Crenshaw and King, please. Like, this is my brother. Yeah, and yet yeah. now it's like it's like one o'clock at night type shit. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. please make sure he get off on uh uh King and uh Crenshaw. Yeah. So then like the next day he hit me like 
He said, I'm like, man, did you make it home good? He said, yeah, the bus driver woke me up and shit, told me to get off. Like, I was about to go sleep. I said, man, I told the bus driver to do that, yeah. like, on God. Like, yeah, yeah. So that wow. shit was, like, funny. So, like, yeah, like, you from, ain't no telling where, where you would have been at. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Right around the whole city. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You don't know. You don't want, you don't want to be riding around the whole city in L.A. You never know where you're going to pull up One o'clock in the morning? Come on, nah. man. We got to get up. We off Seroquil, sleeping yeah. and shit. Like, yeah, real talk, man. Great story, man. Shout out again, man. Catchy man and Draco man, straight up. My brothers, man. Yeah, definitely. Uh, also, too, the tack, the talkback mic is on. We can hear the uh, the echo in the back if you could just cut off the talkback mic. All right, uh, ceramic, too much griminess in L.A. I mean, that's a fact. I mean, we know what it is. You know, growing up out here, it's it's, yeah. it's always been like that. I mean, it's always ain't nothing gonna change. Nothing either, gonna like, change at mm. all, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I never forget, man. When I was only about six, seven years old, we got. Taken, taken out of school for like three months because that's when the um, 93 riots, you know, started, okay, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And everything three around months? me. We was out for three months. The school I went to, we, we couldn't go back for three months. You, you know, know what I'm saying? That's a summer vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exa- oh, yeah, yeah. I went to my family's house in the, um in Reno Valley. I was yeah, out there for crazy, like a couple yeah. of months. Oh, yeah. I was loving it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was having some of my cousins. Hey, say you sick. Don't go to school today because they was living out there. Yeah. But, yeah, man, we was out for a couple of months because – where uh one of the uh uh houses that was uh burned down or businesses that was burned down was right by the school that I was in. You know what I'm saying? So they had us out for a minute, you know. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean LA is different, man. It's very different. But that was so, the Wasp right? This was the Wasp okay, right in yeah, ninety three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. So so yeah, I mean you ain't lying about that one. Uh John Moore's on another note, I don't think D Savage is like that for real. Uh, I like his music, but I think under some real legal pressure he'd probably fold. You know, yeah, uh, you see, shout out to John Moore. You know the truth. <laughs> he said, shout out, give, give him, give him uh, a bomb, give him a bomb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he said, John Moore know the truth. Huh? You know the truth. <laughs> hey. That show the love, man. Um, when it come down to the fan base, when it come down to you, Stick Team, and all that. So I, I told y'all there's a lot of love when it come down to y'all, man. John Moore, he switched it up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out D Savage. Now like, let me switch that up really quick, man. I didn't know the, the bro had some issues with him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, all right. Impatient TV. Ask K7, what's his thoughts on Detroit music? You you big in the um, Detroit music? I kind of like shit? Detroit music. Yeah, I listen um, to like Rio, RMC Mike, uh, uh, Y and J, some of his shit, and uh, you know what I'm saying. I listen to that, that Detroit music and shit. Yeah, yeah. Big Sean too, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you was name, you you that's like the underground Detroit. Yeah. You know, you know music, you know scene and everything, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, that was uh, actually a good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good post. Impatient TV. Uh, shout out to Mr. Whiskers. Feeling different. The best tape out for real. Facts, facts, Feeling man. You know what I'm saying? That's the hardest tape out right now, man. Show Go love. crazy. Like, you know, if y'all ain't yeah. heard it, love. just give it a chance. Oh, yeah. I'm telling I'm playing you. It, bro. If y'all ain't yeah. heard it, play yeah. it one time for yeah. me. Yeah, that's what's up. One man. time Definitely. for me. Definitely play. You got like a lyric from it or something? Like something that stand out to you about it? That's like, man. That it, tape, like, like, because it's like three songs that stand out to me, like, off that whole tape. Okay. At most. It's the, uh, like I said, For the Night Freestyle and uh, True Story. Cause I spoke on like some real shit, like okay. you know what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Even involved with the stinks and all that type of shit, I spoke with some real shit, and uh, and Remy and Duce, like, mm. cause when I made them songs, it's like it spoke to me, like you know what I'm saying, like the beat, them beats called me, like, yeah. Yeah. hold on, this I need this, like hold yeah. on, like, I heard it, heard uh, uh, the homie play, like man, I need that, like, yeah. and then the homie made the for the night song, so I was like, hold on. I'm gonna since you named the next song for tonight, I'll make a freestyle over it. Like, yeah, send that beat yeah, to me. Like, that beat yeah, go crazy. Like, yeah. that beat spoke to me, and somebody else already recorded it. Like, yeah. But I told him, like, send me that beat. He sent it. <laughs> and uh, it's just like all gas, no hook. Like, for tonight, all gas, no hook. And true story, when I spoke with some real shit, is all gas, no hook. Like, yeah. just all gas. Like, the whole beat, like, nothing was cut. Like, yeah. a whole two minutes and 30 seconds, just going crazy. Like, so I was like, I was, and I felt like I was talking crazy on them motherfuckers. Like I was talking beyond crazy. Like I was in the bag that day. Like man, mm-hmm. man. So man, so that's one of the hitters right there, huh? I'm one of the hitters. What's the joint again? So people know what to, you know, the listen to the whole thing. But listen what's to that the whole joint? thing. But the main ones that's going, you know, even forty. I mean, it's so many songs I can get, but the yeah. the, the top, 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 top three is just like true story. Yeah. For the night freestyle, Remy and Duce. 
dope, dope. Yeah. Definitely, man. Go show love. Go show love, man. K7 showing a lot of love being here, you know what I'm saying, you and everything like that. So show love back, definitely, definitely. Uh, oh, there you go. Sure. Shout out to Mr. Wickers for the night visual. Go crazy. Okay. Yeah, Look. that video go crazy. Shout out to uh, Mr. Yeah. Whiskers. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Whiskers. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, one more uh quick topic, man, before we uh, uh get up out of here today. So um um so I don't know if y'all's keeping up with the story, but um the XXX and Tashion's um you know killers was finally uh found guilty and everything. Actually, at one point the lawyers were trying to put it on Drake. You know, yeah, I seen that. I was like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because he had beef but, with Drake, uh, nah, man. Yeah, come on. yeah. I'm trying to put songs yeah. in it. Yeah, crazy, right? But basically, so three men have been found guilty. Uh, first degree, you notice they said three, not four, you know, because it was one snitch, you know what I'm saying, that was telling everything. But three have been found guilty of the first degree murder of American rapper XXX and Tosh Young, who was shot and killed during a robbery in Florida in 2018. On Monday, a jury in Florida uh, closed its week-long deliberations when it found De uh, Dietrich Williams, Michael uh, Boatwright, and Tyran Newsom guilty of first degree murder and armed robbery, according to the report by the New York Times. Prosecutors did not seek the death penalty in the case, and all three assailants faced mandatory <laughs> life sentences. Hmm. You know, but uh, like I said, you notice that um, the fourth guy is not being named, the one who got on the stand and told the little fat everybody. chubby boy, the fat chubby boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not getting named at all. But um, you know, any anything to he's, say about this? This you say he hopped on the stand. Yeah, one of the the fourth mm -hmm. goofy no, number what number? <laughs> well, well, number what six? six? I think goofy number I think six. six. <laughs> right there, man. Goofy number six, uh, huh? Shit. Goofy number six. And I actually man. like I I like the X music. Like you feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, X is right. dope. X was y'all did it for dope. some bullshit. Like you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. They didn't have to do that, but you know, yeah. street the streets is hungry, so yeah, shit. Yeah. Nah, but I get you. It's like if y'all hey, look, you was a part of it. If y'all gonna fall, y'all fall. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, dude, I mean, I I get it. You know, what a, trying to save his, you know, his own life and everything like that. But it's like, man, you play with the streets and everything yeah, like that. Just stick to the code, the bro. Heat. Yeah, just stick to the code. Like, but wasn't yeah. he the one that identified X in the, in the, in the story? Yeah, he was, he was one of them that was like from the cameras and all that that they showed. That pointed him out. He was one of them. I mean, so he, how the fuck is he, you snitching? He pointed nigga, it out his own self, you know? <laughs> He was basically, he was he tried to put it on. They gave me the less amount of money, and I actually was I actually wanted to turn around and not do it, but they made me do. Oh I believe he was giving yeah. like you know kind of information like that. Yeah, trying to take the the weaker vessel, a part of that situation. He trying they to force take that him direction. to do it. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? Force, you know, man, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you make your own decision, yeah. like. Yeah, straight up, straight up. So end of the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I mean, this situation, man. I, you know, hey, rest in peace to XXX, man. man I just really, really like, like, like his rest music, in peace man. to X, man. X was X. dope, man. You know, and to be real, it seemed like X was trying to, like, stand on business, man. I mean, yeah, it took his, his life, but he was, you know, trying to hold it down and not give away his mm -hmm. stuff. Now, me personally, man, I'm hey, I'm trying to I, take it, bro. Like, you know, if I need to fight you later, we'll figure it out. But, you know, but X stood on what he, you know, what was right to him. You know what I'm saying? So. Rest in peace to X, man. So, anything yeah. else to say about this this situation? Long live Anybody? X. Long live yeah, X, man. Really. Straight up, straight up. All right, right. As we, as we close, it, if we have um any more uh, chat, we'll read them as we close out. But um, any last words? K seven. You know what Stinks I'm saying? Stinks run LA. Fuck all the ops. And you know, if you rock with us, rock with us. Like you know, what I'm saying, if y'all don't like, you don't like. You know, what I'm saying, like. Long live Catchy, Draco, GT, uh, Crazy D, uh, the Perv, you know, you know, long live the truth, man. I'm forgetting you in my bad, but long live the real ones, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. real talk, real talk. Um, off the hood girls, uh, off the hood girls, man, you, you own it. Appreciate the support. LA gotta grow, stop accepting the griminess. I mean, I wish you look, look, this one thing we gotta, we gotta admit too, um, LA is by far one of the most popular cities, not just in the U.S., in the world. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes down to it, like, I know it's a lot that go on down here, but everybody comes here. You get what I'm saying? It's not just about L.A. L.A. is L.A. Just like I'm pr I'm pretty sure it's popping in New York when Hell it comes yeah. down to that, too. Exactly. You heard all them Rico cases? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what? Uh, it's, it's about, like, in the last two months, about four or five Rico cases 
happen in New York. Most of them all rappers. They all know. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, L.A., New York, you're going to get that griminess. I get what you're saying, though, when it comes down to maybe the streets and gang culture. You know, I get that. But L.A. is always going to be L.A. Mm-hmm. at the end of the day. Surely. You know what I'm saying? So L.A., L.A., you know, like, yeah, live yeah. and die in L.A. Like, it's Real truth. Tough. Yeah, man. Right. It's a fact. That's a fact, you know? Uh, think about it, you know? It's all happened to, you know, Biggie Pops. I mean, like... Man, it happens, exactly. man. Here, it, it it happens, you know. So, uh, and them the goats. So it happened to the goats. It can happen to anybody. Like, yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Real talk. Uh, anything? Swag. Last man, words, man. Shit, thanks for uh, K Seven coming through, bro. Yeah, you know, bro, know I'm here, chilling man. with us, Gang talking man. that shit, laughing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's I had a good time, bro. Yeah, yeah me yeah, too, man. man. It's cool, you know, <laughs> yeah, kicking. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's real. Appreciate the gifts and all that too. Oh yeah, bro. We got you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely appreciate you, K Seven. Sir. Shutting it down, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, my boy Swaggy, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Francis in the I back, know. man. Hey, again, man, if Big Don is watching it, Big Don, for people who don't know, he was, uh, uh, you know, working with us, you know, as one of the producers and everything. He's in the hospital, man. Big he got Don. some complications going on. Send your prayers out and love to Big Don, man. Always all love, brother. Hey, nothing to some podcast. K7, man, go check Gang out the music. Man. He's doing Stinkster it, man. Gang. You know what I'm saying? Go check it out. Boy Swaggy, Paul P. Love you all. We out of here. Sir. (laughs)